The MSE-6 series repair droid, or mouse droid, was an extremely popular droid model that was used across pretty much every military faction of every major conflict in the galaxy. They were so useful that the Republic, Separatists, Empire, New Republic, First Order, and even criminal gangs made use of their important functionality. But what did mouse droids actually do? Let's find out. The mouse droid was a roving repair droid that was deployed in packs of over 100 units in order to clean the floors of starships, bases, prisons, and military installations for basically any faction who wanted them. On top of this, their functionality extended to carrying messages and guiding troopers to their assigned posts. The way they operated was primarily through their top hatch, where a small tray would extend out of the droid and allow high-ranking military officials to place secure and sealed orders inside. The unit also had a very small grasping claw inside of it, allowing it to perform basic motor functions and simple tasks, which would otherwise require a human or alien to operate. Although mouse droids looked very simple from the outside, and especially compared to many other independent ones, these little droids were actually capable of performing some of the most complex tasks you could think of on military vessels. One of these mouse droids was even used for the very strange task of disposing of dead bodies, being called upon after Darth Vader brutally choked an Imperial General to death. The mouse droid was initially designed by a company called Rabaxin Columni in the early days of the Republic and immediately gained mass use by the galaxy's biggest powers almost immediately. Their widespread appeal to the less wealthy groups like criminal gangs, however, came after the schematics were discovered, allowing illegal surveillance and slicing modules to be added to it, very appealing for black market criminals. Fulcrum agent Alexander Callus even used a mouse droid to spy on a conversation between Grand Admiral Thrawn and Governor Price of Lothal, really showing their versatility. Because of the widespread spying modifications, mouse droids were very often viewed with suspicion when seen roaming around by the common citizen. Their spying functions were used heavily by the Separatists during the Clone Wars, and a pack of mouse droids was even utilized by the Separatist Council on Mustafar. A mouse droid named G735Y, or G7, who was actually one that featured in A New Hope, was considered the fastest mouse droid to ever serve in the Imperial fleet, and the stormtrooper in charge of maintaining him, who was also featured in A New Hope, was so impressed with the little mouse droid that he wanted to be transferred to Coruscant with the droid so that he could submit him for racing. After the fall of the Empire, quite a few mouse droids served in the New Republic and were stationed on the New Republic prison ship which Mando boarded, as well as serving on many First Order Star Destroyers. So that is what mouse droids actually did. Quite a different story from the Legends version. Thanks so much for watching, really hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers guys, hope to see you in the next one.